so this is Dr. Rachel. She's coming in today with a little bit of stress, so we're gonna do an acupuncture treatment. She also has some seasonal allergies, so a little bit of congestion as well in the sinuses. So we're gonna be doing some acupuncture to help um, assess her nervous system and create a little more balance in her body as well. So we're gonna start by swabbing her points with a little bit of alcohol just to disinfect the area. So we're just gonna do a couple points on the arms. Also a couple of sinus points as well to help relieve the congestion. And there's also great points on the ears to help release endorphins in the brain, which helps to calm and relax. And we'll do a couple points on the feet as well. So with the acupuncture, there should not be any pain associated with it at all. You should feel um, just maybe a little mosquito bite when they first go in, but nothing painful. It's actually very relaxing and oftentimes people will fall asleep during the treatment. So we're just gonna start with this point by the arm. And we'll check in with Rachel to make sure she's feeling okay. Do those feel all right for you? Yep. Perfect. And we'll do a point in the center of the forehead to help calm the mind. And this also helps to open up the sinuses as well. And two points by the side of the nose. And these also help to relieve congestion. So really great for seasonal allergies or if you ever have a cold. And so again, we'll use the points by the side of the ear to help with relaxation, to help calm the mind. These points are really great for anxiety or if you have any depression or just general stress in the body. And then the last two points we will do on the feet. So this is to create overall balance in the body, help with any headaches that might be associated as well with the sinus congestion that she's having. So then after we place the needles, we let her relax for about 20 minutes to let the needles do their work. So she'll typically take a little bit of a nap too during the treatment. It's very relaxing. Afterwards, you can expect to experience a little bit of an energy boost as well, and she should be breathing a little bit more clearly as well. Do what we do. Face up first. spot and we'll start there on that right side so I'm gonna tip you over just right here to your shoulder look up this way just a bit good job and we'll get one more on the left here I want you to tip this left ear over to your shoulder and look up this way just a bit really good awesome adjustment okay let's flip you over tender there Tracy mm -hmm. yeah so I think we'll start there so I'll get a big breath from you and exhale I'm gonna follow your breath right down okay really good yeah a lot better than when we started huh okay one more big breath in and out I'm gonna follow you down here and good release Let's get that low back. Let's go this way first, facing me.
Okay, big breath in. And out. Good, let that go. Really good. Okay, one more this side. And big breath in. And out. Okay, come on up. Felt like you moved pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all it takes. So, all right, well, let's take a look. Uh, let's start face up. So I'm gonna start on the ankles here like we do and, um, and get mobilization down there because as you know, with the tight back like you have and the hips, um, it's important to uh, make sure that all the joints below that are mobile as well. So able to take that on, take on the stress of uh, all the massive weights you throw around. <laughs> So yeah, we, we use some cold laser on there, and then um, we use some high frequency vibration as well, um, particularly on the IT band. Mm -hmm. So when the hips, you know, rotate a little bit like that, you're gonna pull that IT band, you're gonna have tracking issues across the knee. So we'll address all that too with some modalities after we're done here. Awesome. Good release, huh? That's I knew it. So I'm gonna give you a little bunny hop here. Bad. Good. Okay, scoot on up a few inches for me. How's your neck, Ben? Pretty good. Right, we'll start on this left side, so I'm just going to go right underneath the occiput here and tip that left ear over just a little bit more. Good movement. One more. Nice. Have you shrug your shoulders up a little bit and just let them down. Okay, again, shrug it up and let them down. And just strip out those upper shoulders and traps. Just one more time. And let them down. Okay, let's flip you right over. tender there, Matt. Mm -hmm. So that scoliosis is gone. Okay, so let's get a big breath in. I'm going to fall you down here and induce extension. There you go. Okay, again, big breath and out. I'm going to take even one more. So big breath in and out. Oh, you got some release right there from stretching. I'm going to give you a little sacrum drop here, okay? This is for that hyperlordosis or too much curve in the low back that we saw on x-ray. Mm -hmm. so slam that sacrum right down. Okay, let's get you sideways. We'll go this way first. Okay, big breath. And down. Good one. One more. Right there. Okay, big breath. And out, I'm gonna fall you down. Good job. Okay. Awesome job. Let's do some therapy. So we're gonna use a little bit of cold laser on this area where you've been having some tendonitis in the knee. And uh, cold laser, it's just used really for expediting healing. So you shouldn't feel anything at all when this is happening. So, and if you do feel something, then just let me know. Uh, it expedites healing by, um, uh, it kind of uh, stimulates the cell, like the mitochondria of the cell, for cell repair. And you don't feel anything, do you? Mm -mm. That's a good thing. <laughs> so we're going to do about a minute and a half of this. 
So we'll do three rounds at about 30 seconds each. You know, my neck has been really tight and it happened when I woke up. So okay. I'm pretty sure it's just how, how I slept. Feels just kinked up. Thank you. 